I forgot to take off my tag for work. It's beginning to look a lot like fuck this. Hey guys, it's Alice. If you hear any mumbling in the background, it's because my computer over there is actually playing a live stream of a Japanese television show where they sell stuff. I've been getting really serious about my Japanese learning, so I play it 24-7 since it's been live since December 15th, 2015. It's not going to be shutting off anytime soon. How's it been going, guys? I have decided to do another My Week in Vlog since this is the last week of school. It is finals week. I am extremely fucking busy, and I think that talking to my camera might be a little bit of a stress relief because I'm not going to have time to edit it until the middle of next week, so I'll see you then. <laughs> or right now, since right now is then. I just got home from work, and I have two hours of freedom before I go back to work. It is finals week, so that means that this week is not only going to be super busy just because of that. So not only am I dealing with finals, I also have work, and I am also training rather intensely for the Japanese tea ceremony I have been mentioning probably a few, like several times this year. Maybe I didn't mention it to you guys, I'm not sure, but it's been on my mind this entire year. So um, I've been doing intense training. My kimono is hanging up right there. I did an unboxing of this, but I never, I just deleted the footage because I never ended up uploading it. So it's actually a, re a plain red awase kimono that has like this nice texture to it. It's made of silk and soye, and the inside is lined with, well, it looks cream colored here, but it's more of a gold colored silk. Awase means that it's a lined winter kimono, fall and winter kimono, and over here in this pile of shit, I have my Nagoya Obi and a bunch of other shit to wrap it with. So here's my Nagoya Obi. It's supposed to um, have a drum knot. This has birds on it and flowers, but I don't know what kind of flowers those are. They all go together. And I have a cream um, scarf with, with um, grass green polka dots on it that's going to go on as the Obidome. It's pretty fucking legit. A lot of things have happened since you guys last saw me. I haven't made or filmed a video in a month, so it's been super busy and very stressful, and I'm just trying to work through it. We have this bus, I think in one of my vlogs, not many vlogs ago, I actually pointed out that there's this bus in front of our, in our neighborhood called the Ghetto Gypsy that parks here a lot, and they have this insanely long trailer hitch that I didn't know was there until it scooped my car light out. So I've got to find a way to fix this because I'm not going to go anywhere to fix it. I think I might be able to put this mirror piece back in and then tape it all up and put it back in my car because I'm not going to... It didn't ruin any of the electrical parts of my car. It just scooped the light right out. So while I'm here for the two hours I get to be able to complete anything at all, I'm going to go ahead, write down my schedule for the week, try to get a couple assignments done. I also, last night, put the first bit of blue in my hair. How does it look? Is it beginning to actually look like a full rainbow? Almost. In six months, I'll start the purple and then it will be... There's another thing, by the way. So, all of my favorite YouTubers in Japan are doing Vlogmas, and during Vlogmas, at the present, they're all watching an anime. So, I don't watch anime. I generally try to stay away from it because there's these stereotypes associated with it that I probably shouldn't worry about, but at the same time I stay away from it because I've lost interest. Well, all of my favorite J vloggers are currently watching Yuri on Ice, and just seeing them vlog about it for days got me really curious, and now I'm watching Yuri on Ice. I know, it's ridiculous. I watched all 10 episodes yesterday. <laughs> This is really ridiculous. And the 11th episode's coming out on Wednesday, I think. Why? Why? And I am actually liking it. It's like, I don't know how to describe the animation style, you'd have to go watch it yourself. But I've never seen an anime where they actually animated the mouth of the person speaking Japanese with Japanese mouth movements. Like, it was so cool. <sighs> go check it out. I'm gonna get some stuff done. See you later! Hey, it's 10 a.m. on Monday morning, and I slept on top of my bed 
without the cover because like all night last night it's not actually super warm in here so like I don't know how I somehow succeeded in sleeping on top of the bed. I've got an optional class to go to, so I need to get dressed for that. And then I'll come home. Do some schoolwork. It's already 11.03, which means I should have left a while ago for my optional class. Um, but I want to be there so I can get some insight as to what's going to be on my final exam. So that's where I'm headed right now. I'm actually going to get in my car in a minute, make sure I've got what I need. I have a notebook, computer, yeah, I got what I need. I don't need anything else. All right, that review session is over. So now I'm going to go home and see what kind of schoolwork I can get done since all of it's studying for a bunch of finals. <sighs> Maybe I'll just go back to sleep, I don't know. <laughs> I actually have to make sure that I use my time as wisely as possible. So I'm going to go home and relax with some tea as well as study for the two final exams I have this week and then I have a final next week too <gasps> and then I'm gonna go to the temple there's a squirrel in that tree can you see it yeah there it is how cute I love squirrels so if I get into the dorms next semester I hope I get the same haul as I did last time Right now, I'm seriously considering getting something to eat or getting in the shower. Maybe I should get in the shower first, I don't know. It is quite later in the afternoon and I am now in my car. I'm on Orange Street, if you can tell by any of the surrounding scenery. That is sleuth status up the wazoo. And it is snowing. It is 4 p.m. and I am on my way to the temple because of some stuff that is going to be going down next week. Oh, gross. I forgot about this. I forgot that driving behind people in muddy snow just gets muddy snow all over the place. Like muddy water. Ugh. It may look like I am still in my car. But in reality, it's actually 9.30 on Tuesday morning and I am actually headed out to go to class. This is the weather I'm dealing with right now. Fuck this! It's alright. If things go well, I'll be just fine. Just enough time to get to class, barely on time. There is nobody here. My professor is not even in his office, and today is clearly marked as the day for studying. So, what the fuck? Where is everybody? Like, why? All right, non-existent class, if you can turn to page 162 in your textbooks, that'd be fucking great. Where am I missing in this loop of communication right now? <sighs> I feel like I came all the way into town at that time for nothing. I'm tired. I didn't sleep much. I'm not going to get much sleep for the rest of the week because we're working really hard on the tea rooms. And I <laughs> woke up to come here at this time. And nobody's here. So... <laughs> I'm a bounce from this place. It's now 10.25. I got here at 5 minutes to 10. <laughs> so it turns out that the optional review day was yesterday. Doesn't say that on the syllabus. I just got a new sticker for my laptop. <sighs> Boring, isn't it? <laughs> I've been home for a while now. It's almost 9 o'clock in the evening. 
I should have been spending the last couple hours fixing my essay and studying for my exam, which is at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, but instead I ended up having a conversation with Joe. I've actually been having a rough time. I mean, it's nothing new. The last month, the last semester has been extremely stressful, but I've been having quite a bit of difficulty with a particular person who lives here. So I had to vent about that a little bit. That's what, what happened. Um, but she's talking to someone that she knew, and he's in Asia. I don't know. I'm only hearing her side of the conversation, though. So now I'm in my room, thinking that maybe I should hurry the fuck up and actually study for my exam. Um, plug in my tablet, and get some shit done. I'm gonna brew some tea. It's tea time! <laughs> intention of doing some schoolwork and you know what I actually did? I left this room and I talked to Joe again. <sighs> now I'm gonna go to bed because I fucking need to. Ciao. Hey, it's Wednesday morning and I'm barely awake and it's just my luck that my final this morning is at 8 o'clock. Do you know what time it is right now? It's like 8.20 and my car has frost on both the inside and the outside. I'm not having this. I'm just not having this. Oh my god! It is already nearly 3.20 in the afternoon and I've hardly picked you guys up today. I am actually getting ready for work. Isn't my boot just like, so attractive? I was going to use the few hours between my final exam, which I do not think I did very well on by the way, and work to write an essay and uh, didn't. I was so tired. I just laid in bed the whole time. <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna, you know, go to work. And then I'm gonna go to the temple for more duties. This is getting to be super stressful. I don't even know how to um, emphasize to you guys how stressful this week is. My camera's doing a shit job of focusing right now. So I'll see you guys later. See? Look at what it's fucking doing! It is currently 2.07 a.m. on Thursday morning. I'm briefly checking my Facebook and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't know if you can hear the girls upstairs, but I'm at the temple and... <clears throat> I cleaned the room where I'm going to do the tea ceremony. I am able to go to sleep now, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just so tired. If I go to sleep now, I'll be able to wake up. Uh, maybe a little early and get some stuff done. So I'll see you later. Ciao. I just woke up and it's 10 a.m. and I'm a bit frustrated with myself because I was supposed to have woken up at 8 and written my essay and I feel like this week is just not going well for me school-wise. I feel like everything I do is some form of self-sabotage that's not at all helping me with my school and I'm so frustrated. I still wanted to start baking at 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. I'm just having so so much difficulty with this week. Hey, it is 4 a.m. on Friday. I'm not going to be going to sleep because I left my phone in the car, so I have to stay awake to make sure that I call her at 7.30 so that I can be out of here by 8.30. So I can be to my podiatrist appointment. Otherwise, I'm not sure if she'll remember or maybe she might even sleep too long. Anyway, I'm uh, just not going to vlog for the rest of my sitting here doing nothing. We just finished making Fingley Sue and some other yummy cookie, cook, cook, baking treats. We're going to continue it tomorrow and so on and so on until the tea ceremony. I'm just going to go. This is really boring. Whatever that was that happened earlier, it was weird, and I'm sorry about it. It was at 4, it's now 9 o'clock, um, I slept an hour and a half, so it shouldn't be as boring. I'm currently at the doctor's office, waiting to see the doctor, because I'm getting a cortisone injection in this foot, because hopefully then it'll make it stop hurting after a few days, and I can focus 100% on this one. 
It's been very frustrating trying to deal with both of them this whole semester. <sighs> it is Saturday, and I have learned by looking at my grades that I am passing all of my classes. I didn't pick up my camera again yesterday because I was so tired I ended up sleeping and being a little late for work. It's a little less stiff than yesterday, but it's still annoyingly weird. I don't know if you can see, but where it's sticking out right here, it's just full of fluid. And when I walk, that's where the needle went in, it's bruised. When I walk, it like pushes the fluid forward, and then when I step up, it goes back into place. <laughs> Today, I have very simple plans. I need to go ahead and get on completing my essay. I did write it. It's done. But I need to revise it a little bit uh, so that my teacher is a little more happy with it. He said it was good and he would give me an, a B as it was, but I need to make it better, of course, because that was just the first draft. And then I need to go to the temple. I need to get on that essay. It shouldn't take me long. I'd like to go over to the temple a little early today because I have to actually spend time <coughs> putting on my kimono and getting my uh, tea room ready. I'm gonna get on that. So it's 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. In uh, about seven hours, I should, I'm supposed to be at work. I will be at work from opening to finish with only a two hour break in between. I'm gonna tell you something. I am not handling this right now very well. I'm actually quite frustrated. Tonight, or last night more appropriately, I was supposed to do my entire run through of my tea ceremony, plus make the fish. Well, I wasn't able to do my run through. That didn't happen, so it's pushed to tomorrow. And I tried making the fish. They're pastries that are shaped like fish, not actual fish. Tonight, and I made four of them and fucked all four of them up. So that's also being pushed to tomorrow. Let me give you a little perspective as to how frustrating that is and why. I'm going to sleep as soon as I put this camera down, but then when I wake up, I have to get dressed and go straight to work. While I'm at work, I've got to make sure to meditate on all of the things involving the tea ceremony, and as well as continue to do work. Make sure that I pay attention to what I'm doing. I also have an essay that I should have had finished on Friday, but because of this and everything, I haven't had a lot of time on Friday. I was so exhausted, I ended up sleeping all day. So my essay's not finished. And during that two hour break, that's the only chance that I'm going to get to get the paper that I need to finish my scroll. But I need to finish my essay. Then I go back to work, and then I come back here immediately afterwards. And because my run through of my tea ceremony and the baking has been pushed back, that means that tomorrow, or more appropriately tonight, I have my tea ceremony run through, baking of the fish cakes, baking of, making of the mochi, making of the daifuku, putting my hair up, completing everything, making the gifts for all of my guests, and then maybe some sleep. Because my tea ceremony run through was pushed back. I'm concerned about whether I'm going to get any sleep tomorrow. Then start getting busy again here at three o'clock and work all the way through the end. Ceremony, ceremony, ceremony. And then cleaning up after that, we'll clean everything up. And then I have a final exam at 8 a.m. the next morning. I'm doing my best to not act like this is bothering me, but it is. It's taking a hell of a lot more from me than I'm letting on, because it's, it's so much, and I'm trying so hard. So that's where I'm at, and right now I'm laying in bed, or more like on the floor in this corner, because I'm tired and I couldn't make my fish cakes. Do you like my hair? It was done last night for the tea ceremony, which I did complete, by the way. Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning, around 10 a.m., and I just finished my last, my final exam, my last exam of the semester, so school's out for me now. Ha! Um, I know the last time I saw you guys, I was in a bit of a way. Probably not a, not a very good one, but, um, I'm sorry. There's a squirrel. Right there, eating.
hiding in the bush. How cute! The clock just struck 10. Things were getting frustrating for me because I had been holding in my emotions for a very long time. Because, um, I was very, very busy. Like I had said in the previous video, I actually um, was working, trying to study for my exams, and baking and setting up for the tea party, which was last night. So I wasn't in a very good way. I was actually surprised that it took me the entire time that all this was going on, where I was busy back to back with work, school, and the temple. I was surprised that it took me just to the other day to start crying about it. Because I was very stressed and very overwhelmed. Things actually didn't get much better up until last night. <laughs> up until actually immediately after my first ceremony began. Instead of reaming him, I tried my best to make sure that um, I wasn't in a complete asshole and I told him that it was alright if he needed to take a breather and go home and think about things. And I thanked him for all of the help he's given up to that point, which actually wasn't that much. But I'm actually pretty pleased with myself for not being super angry. Like my anger spiked very briefly, it was for a split second. I suddenly felt angry and then it was gone and I was like, you know what? I have a job to do and I need to maintain that zen for my guests. So I sent him home and I managed to complete last night without him um, with the help of a really nice guy named Nick. He, he basically did everything my butler was supposed to do <laughs> without having been instructed for days like my butler actually had. He did it. I told him once and he did it. It was amazing. Thank you, Nick, so fucking much. And so I did my ceremonies, and I am very pleased to say that I did pretty well, especially in the last one, because you know you can only improve. And I have been in a good mood ever since. Last night I only got one hour of sleep, and it was actually this morning at 5. And then I came here to campus to complete my last final exam. Yay me! But I can't, I can't breathe just yet because I have to make stocking stuffers and gifts for people to put in under the tree and in their stockings tonight for Yule. After that, I can breathe. <laughs> It'll be winter session, I'll have nothing to do, thank freaking goodness. I'm gonna go and I'll see you later. After all of this is done, I'll be able to edit this and upload it. <laughs> It'll be more like my week and a half in vlog. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Jane.